Hello everybody, this is Ms. Lopez, your school counselor again, and welcome to lesson seven of the Strong Start lessons, boys and girls. Today, we're gonna go over what happens in our bodies and in our minds when we are worried. And today's book reading is The Girl Who Never Made Mistakes by Mark Pett and Gary Rubenstein, illustrated by Mark Pett. This is one of my favorite books, so stick around. As always, boys and girls, we start with our icebreaker. So tell me, would you rather have $500 to spend on any toy and all the toys that you wanted, or a three-day vacation in Disneyland? That's a tough choice. Think about it, and then let me know. I see. A lot of students pick the toys, but some of you also pick Disneyland, and that's because some of you have never been there. So I would want to go if I had never gone. But personally, I would choose the $500 so that I can choose all of these toys and then bring them to the school as prizes for good behavior and for being good students. Does everyone remember our friend Ronnie the Rhino? Well, he's here with us today to go over our lesson about being worried. But first, we always go over our special rules with Ronnie and we practice our breathing to calm our bodies and focus our energy. Our special rules, boys and girls, you all know them. What are they? to be a good listener, to keep a calm body, and to be a friend. Everyone has been doing so well in following our special rules that Ronnie is so happy. Today's activity for our breathing is going to be the five finger activity. If you don't remember, that's okay. We're gonna do it together. So you're gonna hold up your hand and you're gonna pretend it's a roller coaster and you're gonna start at the bottom. Every time we go up, we breathe in. And when we go down, we breathe out. So be on the roller coaster with me, boys and girls, and we're gonna practice our calm bodies. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time, boys and girls. Breathe in. And breathe out. Did you notice all the feelings you were having in your body? That's your body trying to figure out how to calm itself so that we're ready for our reading. Remember, whenever you're feeling worried, sad, scared, or a not so good feeling, you can try the five finger breathing. So today we're gonna to talk about being worried. Everyone feels worried and that's okay, but it's not a very not so good feeling, boys and girls. It kind of makes us feel yucky in our bodies and it sometimes feels like being scared. Do you notice all their faces? They're all a little worried because they don't know what's gonna happen or they're worried about someone. We will learn how our bodies are when we're worried, and then we're gonna think about how we might help ourselves not to be so worried anymore. Too much worry is not good for our bodies, boys and girls. We don't wanna feel worried all the time, because then our bodies will look like this, and we won't be able to focus. I hope everyone is ready for our reading today. Let's go ahead and begin. The Girl Who Never Made Mistakes by Mark Pett and Gary Rubenstein. Illustrated by Mark Pett. For Beatrice Bottomwell, Friday began like any other day. She matched her socks and of 
course, she put her shoes on their proper feet. She remembered to feed her hamster, Humbert, his favorite food, broccoli. And when she made a sandwich for her brother Carl's lunch, she used exactly the same amount of jelly and peanut butter. When she stepped outside to greet her fans, she didn't forget to say good morning and thank you. They asked if she made her bed. She had. They asked if she forgot to do her math homework. Nope. What about tonight's talent show, they asked. I'm ready, said Beatrice, with a smile. After all, her juggling act had won three years in a row. Most people in town didn't even know Beatrice's name. They just called her the girl who never makes mistakes. Because for as long as anyone could remember, she never did. Unlike Beatrice, Carl made lots of mistakes. He ate his crayons and drew with green beans. He danced with his hands and played the piano with his feet. Carl loved to make mistakes. At school, Beatrice was on a cooking team with her two best friends, Millie and Sarah. To make their giant rhubarb muffins, they needed four eggs. Beatrice went to the refrigerator and carefully chose the biggest, eggiest egg she could find. On the way back, her legs slipped out from under her. The eggs went flying. Beatrice was about to make her first mistake. But she did it. That was close, thought Beatrice. Sorry, Beatrice, I dropped a piece of rhubarb. Oh, don't punch it. For the rest of the school day, Beatrice could not stop thinking about her almost mistake. On her way home from school, Beatrice watched Millie and Sarah ice skating in the park. Come join us, said Millie. It's fun, said Sarah. Beatrice watched them slip and slide on the frozen pond. Millie and Sarah laughed as they wobbled on the ice. No thanks, said Beatrice. At supper, Beatrice barely touched her food. Is everything all right, kiddo? asked her father. I'm worried I'll mess up tonight, said Beatrice, and everyone will be watching. Worry? You don't make mistakes, he said with a smile. Beatrice tried to smile, too. After supper, Beatrice got ready for the talent show. First, she woke up Humbert from his nap. Next, she got the salt from the salt shaker in the kitchen table. And finally, she filled a balloon with water. The school auditorium was packed. Beatrice felt her stomach jumping around inside her. Beatrice waited for juggling music to begin. That's her. That's the girl who never makes mistakes, said a woman. Oh, we know she'll be perfect, said a man. When the music started, she tossed Humbert into the air. Next, she added the salt shaker. And finally, the water balloon. Beatrice didn't miss a beat. The crowd clapped with delight. But Beatrice noticed something odd about the salt shaker. The specks falling out of it were not white. I wonder what it is. Achoo! Kablooey! Humber was so surprised by his sneeze that he grabbed the water balloon with his claws. 
Humbert, pieces of water balloon, and the pepper rained down on top of Beatrice. For the first time in as long as anyone could remember, Beatrice made a mistake, and it was a big one. The music stopped. Beatrice didn't know what to do. Cry? Run off the stage? The crowd sat stunned. They couldn't believe that the girl who never makes mistakes made a mistake. Beatrice looked up at Humbert. He looked back at her. His hamster fur was soaked and speckled with bits of balloon. Beatrice let out a giggle. The giggle grew into a chuckle and the chuckle became a laugh. The people in the crowd looked at each other and then back at Beatrice. They began to giggle and chuckle, then finally roar with laughter. Beatrice and the audience laughed until they couldn't remember why they were laughing. That night, Beatrice slept better than she had ever had. In the morning, no fans greeted Beatrice. When she got dressed, Beatrice, for no reason at all, put a polka dot sock on one foot and a plaid sock on the other. Beatrice and Carl made sandwiches. This time, they put the peanut butter and jelly on the outside. They called it an inside out PB&J. Lunch was messy and delicious. Later, Beatrice found Millie and Sarah skating in the park. They fell a lot and laughed. Now, people no longer, no longer call her the girl who never makes mistakes. They just call her Beatrice. Now that was a great reading, boys and girls. Which character was worried? It was Beatrice. She was very worried about the talent show because she had never made a mistake, boys and girls. She was worried that she would make that mistake and fall or something would happen. Do you think being worried was a good feeling or not so good feeling? not so good feeling. What did Beatrice look like when she was worried? She didn't have a smile on her face. Her head was down and she was just thinking and thinking and thinking. And that's what she did. She didn't want to even go play with her friends when she was worried. So boys and girls, we have to learn to let go of our worries. When we're worried, we often have a stomach ache or maybe our muscles feel tight and our brains are going a million miles an hour. We might even cry sometimes. And when we feel this way, it might be hard to stop ourselves and we kind of feel stuck in those feelings, in those feelings of being worried. One time, Ronnie felt so worried because he was waiting for his mom to pick him up after school. And when she wasn't at the office where she always was, he started to get really worried. And he started to think, what if something happened? Where could she be? What's going on? He was so worried. How do you think Ronnie could have comforted himself and not worry so much, boys and girls? Right, he could have tried the five finger breathing. I like to have something boys and girls, boys and girls called the ABCs of positive thinking and the stop, count in, count out strategy. We tried this before. When we have a problem, we have to stop so that we don't feel stuck. We have to see what the bad feeling is. And we count to 10. We keep counting until 10. And then see, we comfort ourselves. We comfort ourselves by breathing out. 
and telling ourselves that we're going to feel better and that everything's going to be okay. We have a problem, we stop, we think about the bad feeling, breathe in, count to 10, and then blow out C. And then tell ourselves that everything's going to be okay. show you an activity, boys and girls. And this is called the, the worry jar. Where did my worry jar go? I guess I couldn't find my worry jar. But this is the worry stone activity, boys and girls. And it's a way that you can help yourself feel better when you're worried. You can take a rock from your garden and start to paint it. You can put it in your yard and you can use it to focus on staying happy, painting happy things on it and touching it whenever you feel worried as a reminder that everything's gonna be okay. And this, I'm gonna use this as my worry jar, boys and girls. I have this to tell myself to let go of all these worries. You might have seen the activity that I have in my Google Classroom. I take a worry that I have, maybe thinking about what's gonna happen when we come back to school, and I think about this worry and I choose to let it go and breathe in and out. I take a worry, boys and girls, about my grandma because I worry about her a lot. And I take this worry and put it in my jar. And all these other worries, boys and girls, sometimes about money, sometimes about our friends, sometimes about our family and school and our teachers. And we put all these worries in the jar so they're not in our heads all the time. And we take deep breaths, boys and girls, and that'll help us with our worries. So this week, boys and girls, I want, to, I want you to practice positive thinking, telling yourself that everything's going to be okay when you feel worried and we can choose to be happy. I'll see you for next week's lesson, boys and girls.